Hi, in today's lesson, I thought I would show you some AutoCAD skills. So we will have a look at creating a block which aligns itself to your drawing on insertion. Off we go. I have some lines here representing your gate file. What I would like to do is convert this into a dynamic block. This is basically an interactive block rather than just a normal static block you get with AutoCAD. So in my insert tab, I will press create block. I'll give it a name, gate file. Pick my base point. So I'm going to use the midpoint there. Specify my objects. Now that is your normal process to create an AutoCAD block. To convert this into a dynamic block, what you need to make sure is that it's open in the block editor is ticked. When I press OK, it will open up in a different workspace. Now there's lots of parameters and actions, what you'll see on the tool palette here. We will cover some more of these in different lessons. The first one we're going to have a look at today is the alignment parameter, which is definitely the easiest one you can do inside of dynamic blocks. So I press alignment, and basically what you're doing is just drawing a line on where the lines you want to align it to. So I close the block editor and save the changes. Now when I insert this block now, it will act in exactly the same way as a normal watercut block. Where you'll get the difference is if I draw some lines. I'll now insert my block again. And what you will find is when you place the block, it will automatically align itself to the block to the line that you're putting it on. With a few very simple steps, you've created 360 blocks that will align itself to anything that you've got in your AutoCAD drawn. So that was creating a block which automatically aligns itself to anything in your drawing. In the next lesson, we we'll look at adding a wipeout into the dynamic block. This will automatically break the line when you insert it. Hope to see you in the next lesson. Bye.